<laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K21. We don't. We got the first legend, man. I did the story last night. The glider was 99.9 percent .9 there, and hey. He made it. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about the new arriving style. And my boy Coyote is telling us a little bit about the whole deal with the post hook. Some of y'all right, some of y'all wrong. We're going to talk about that right after this. So if you don't do nothing else, like the video. It helps the notifications go out and all that good stuff. And uh, until I see y'all again, they know! If you make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pipes, that shit made me a savage. Start hustling non-stop, don't plan on breaking that heavy. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Look at here, look at here, look at here. Your boy Glidy. First legend in the world, we did it. Look, he got his animation and all that good stuff right there. Everybody telling him, congrats, blow Joe knows all that. He persevered. He went through. Hey, he had uh, everybody trolling him. He had the game, all them guys on him. But he put his head down, kept pushing, and he got there. And look, this is the last. Like, look at this, man. Look at this. The stuff, the stream duration, 25 hours. Bro, he been putting up mad streams 23 hours, 24 hours. All these hours, man, like mad, mad hours, bro. I am not gonna lie to you. This kid got a different type of grind. And uh, just to show the little animation straight up, man, I got it right here when we get to the animation. This kid right here has a different type of grind. Everybody else said they wanted to do it. He actually did it. Not only did he do it, but he did it in spectacular fashion. Even when people was boosting, known people were boosting and all that good stuff, he just said, hey, I'm gonna get it done. I got it done. He never got suspended in any of that stuff that we know of. And he just kept on grinding, man. Kept running games 30 hours straight. I seen some streamer that was 30 hours, bro. I seen another stream 28 hours, 30. Like the type of grind that that young cat was putting on is crazy, man. Like I'm, I'm not even gonna lie to you, man. So, hey, we gonna skip past all of this and go to where he put his badges on and stuff. Like I can't do nothing but salute something like this. I couldn't do it. I'm not gonna lie. Even if I had the time, to dedicate toward it. What I want to do it is the question. I don't know. I don't know that I'd have the intestinal fortitude to do it because he was right in front of Chico. So Chico should probably be hitting legend, legend shortly. I don't know how far behind Chico was, but at first it was Chico was in first, then Glady came up and then the game and pool, they went in front of everybody. And then all of a sudden these guys are down. Maybe they told them guys, y'all better not be first legend or something like that. Cause we know what y'all did. I don't know. But with the legend race being a little bit less this year, that that's what people are claiming, bro. It doesn't matter. If you, it's just like when Lonzo, not Lonzo ball. It's just like when the ball brothers went overseas and scored 70 points on the team. Bro, if you score 70 points on a high school team, you've done something. You score 70 points on anybody, you've done something. So if you get first legend in any year, regardless of who's saying, try to diminish it or any of that stuff, hey, hey, not that many people are going for it this year. It's just this year. Hey, I'm going to tell you one thing for certain, two things for sure. His bank account don't care if it's first gen or not. This is life changing stuff, man. So now the stream's going to be lit. If he does a YouTube channel, he can, he can, that's going to be lit. All this stuff, man, is instant. Instant validation is what I call it, man. That's what I call it. It's, it's instant validation for for anything that you want to do or anything that you you know what I'm saying that you wanna that you wanna do going forward like that at least for the next two or three months, man, or until at least like he said for a month. He a demon for a month till the next game comes out. So like I said, I can't do nothing but salute this man. And then we're gonna look at him do the new arriving style because that right there, whoo, whoo, that thing now. Let's see who he gonna join up off. And 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 as we said, you know, post hooking came in here. And somebody said in the chat, post hooking waited to his act. This dude is so petty, man. He waited to his actual game where he was going to hit legend, jumped on, and then he just closed up on the guy, man. Cause he was like, I'm not about to do this. You can't steal my moment. This is my moment. I'm not doing it. And I completely understand that, man, because I don't like when people try to make things about themselves when it's clearly about somebody else. Everybody got that drunk uncle or that, or that, you know what I'm saying, that drunk cousin or whatever. You at a wedding, you at a family meeting, you some, you, you're doing something, you're at something, a family function, and, and it can't be about the person that it's about. It's just got to be about them. That's corny as hell to me, man. Like, I know it's funny. It is funny, I'm not gonna lie. But it's still corny as hell. And look at that, ooh, that thing 
they say going down, I'm going down. Woo, look at that thing, boy. He coming. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We gonna back that up, man. Look at him come in off of that young blimp. So instead of all that, da -da 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 all the noise in the park and all that stuff, we're not gonna have that anymore. You're gonna come in nice and quiet off of a blimp. A said, yep, that's where I'm landing right there at the courts. And then Geronimo! Ooh, look at that thing pop, man. Hey, nobody saw that coming. I know I didn't see it coming. Now, I, I ain't gonna lie to you. After the first 30 or 50 times you do this, it's probably gonna get old. But hey, still better than walking to the court and stuff like that, man. So, hey, like I said, man, salute to my boy, Glidey. You, you did it. Regardless of what anybody try to tell you, you did it. Uh, you beat them. You beat it first. Now, all I would tell you to do, my man, go make you a YouTube channel and, uh, and you know, really, really reap the benefits. People want to see stuff like this, man. They want to see that. They want to see the rewards. They want to see, they want to see all this stuff, man. So, um, do that, man. If you don't do nothing else, get that money, man. Get that money, man. Get that money, man. Gotta get that money, man. Hey, look, man. Up next, man, I got my boy, Coyote. He wants to talk to y'all about the post scoring thing that I put up yesterday, man. Like I said, this is my, this is my dog right here. Coyote always come through with the good information and all of that stuff, man. Let's listen to what he has to say about the post scoring epidemic and stuff like that. Let's listen. Yo, just looking at your video now, too. I be liking all your videos, too, to support you. But I appreciate that, I'm man. Looking at your video, too. That shit about that post score shit, that post score shit, that shit's broke. We got a teammate go fucking bananas mm -hmm. at doing it. Okay, they claim, well, it's a badge to stop it. That does not stop it 100% of the time. Not even close. You find out the move is broken when you notice the big on your team is sky hooking over fucking three people at the same time. Okay? Three people. I don't give a fuck what nobody's saying. One post scoring badge ain't never supposed to beat three, four gold Hall of Fame intimidators. Mm. Okay? The move is broke. People don't do the move enough for 2K to recognize. Ah, that's, that's why. one thing they need to start doing when they make their game. They need to spam shit to see exactly how it works and then try to fix something around that. But yeah, that post hook shit, that shit broke, dude. And there we go right there, man. Like he said, and, and look, I know people probably talking about twos, threes, or whatever, whatever, whatever. Coyote plays. My boy Coyote, he plays Pro-Am. They don't play Rick. They don't play threes. They don't play twos. They play Pro-Am. That's what they play. And if, if he's telling you that he's got a guy on his team that has two or three people running at him and they're dedicating all those resources to him trying to stop him and nothing happens something is really wrong with it i get what people are saying and i understand that a lot of y'all are, are hurt by the curry slide and y'all are mad that the curry slider is in the game and that people do it to you to death and they're successful with it people try it on us they're not really that successful but just because there's like like what they used to say two wrongs don't make a right just because there's one broken move in the game that guards can abuse and you can still stop it because you can play defense on it. You can challenge somebody's shot when they do curry slide, curry slide, curry slide. Or you can play sides on it and all that good stuff. So you can do something about that. With this, there's literally not much you can do. I ain't going to say there's literally nothing you can do because I'm sure that there's something that you can do and it'll stop it some of the time. And like I said, I know some stuff that'll stop it some of the time. And some of the people, some people had the argument that, hey, you know, it's unstoppable in real life. This is not real life. It's a video game. In a video game, you must have balance because you can just choose the player that you want. There are real regulators in real life. You're not seven feet in real life. You're not seven three in real life. I dare one of you five eight suckers to try to get that post hook off on me and think it's unblockable. I will throw that shit to the other end of the court. I promise you. The only person in the world that really can do that is somebody either your size or they're bigger. My boy KB that I play ball with, KB like six two six three, but he's also two forty. So when he put that shoulder on you and he post hook you in real life, there's not much I can do. But I can anticipate it, I can see it coming, and a lot of times I can either bother him, I can put my hand right here in his face so he can't see the rim, I can go at it, or if I know which side he's going, I can go to his backside shoulder and I can block it sometimes. Or I can just make it, I can bother his shot. 
in this game, you can't even bother this shot. That's what the problem is. A lot of people try to act like, you know what I'm saying? What is this? Wow, it chroma keyed out the cable. That's dope. Um, a lot of people try to try to always go to, well, that's how it is in real, but you can't do you can't worry about stuff like that in real life. It can't be like that. In real life, people hit their open shots, except for, you know, most of the Lakers most of the time. But uh, you know, a shout out to them boys for winning the championship. But that's all I'm saying. In a video game, that must be counterplay. Because real life has real life regulators that 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 make things it's not balanced that Kevin Garnett, I mean that Kevin Durant is seven feet tall, he can handle the ball, he got it on the string, he can shoot. But that's one that's one person that can do that. In a video game where you can create the players that you want to create, you gotta have regulators. So like I'm saying, two wrongs don't make a right. They need to take the curry slide out of the game or tone it down, but they also need to fix the post hook. Two things can be true too. They need to fix both of them. They're both the problem. But just because they have that, doesn't mean that you need something that's completely indefensible. That's all I'm saying, man. But look, anyway, man, that's all I got to tell y'all today, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Is it cool that the post hook is indefensible? Or or is it a perfect counter to the curry slide and all that stuff? Like I said, if, if from my view, we lock that curry slide up stuff all the time. Bro, it ain't too much you can do about a post hook or post phase. I even got videos where, where my boy in 2K19 was sending me stuff like, bro, you can't, you can't stop it. But there is a way to stop it. But it doesn't work all the time but anyway um and post score has been broke since 17 especially last year did y'all not play against no post scores last year doing the post the post uh hop out the post hop out fade and there was literally nothing that you could do about it and y'all saying that the stick is the reason that the post score y'all boy i get it the people that are saying that this is your first 2k that's all it is Anyway, man, I'm going to holler at y'all next time, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. Salute to Glady and give me a gym star if you made it this far. And uh, I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ. Guys, please.